This is the beautiful snowy uh, winter landscape we are going to work today. It's a limited palette with just four color, white. Um, I, I'm going to use two different blue. One of them is lighter, one of them is darker. That's the cereal, the cerulean blue or even a sky blue. And this is a cobalt blue, black and white. I think would be okay for this painting. And um, yeah, I think it's okay. We don't need anything more. It's a limited palette. So you see that we can do a beautiful painting. Even if you don't have two different blue, it's okay. You can uh, take one. If it's darker with the white color, you can make it lighter. If it's uh, lighter with a tiny bit black, you can make it darker. First of all, we are going to start drawing. Like very simple drawing. We don't do everything at the same time. I'm going to start with the background, which is the sky color, and then this ground snowy, and then the icy part. Then we add the trees and the snow, and then this is star on top. So just I need to do one line uh, in angle to show that this is the uh, separation between the sky and the landscape, and then separate this part. Just that, and then start finishing the sky, then the uh, landscape, and then the eyes as well. So uh, for now, I'm not mixing any paint, just with any color you like, because my uh, canvas is not actually the wood, it's a creamy, so the white color is visible even here. I can choose white, but I'm not a little bit blue add to that, light blue, even when it's light, still need to be lighter. So I choose this one and then start drawing. A little bit, not exactly on a half. You can choose less space for the sky. Draw the, the line in angle. Don't worry about drawing with acrylic. Even if you make wrong, it's okay. You can cover it with another paint. And then I'm going to, to choose this separation line. One here, a little space I need. This angle. And then continue with the same parallel line to here. Just this one. You can add more space for the sky if you like. You can add more space for the eyes part if you like. But there is two different lines we need to have for drawing. Then I'm going to mix the colors for the sky. And it's light blue. More white color on the right side, a little bit bluey on the left side. And if you see, it's like a cloudy, a little bit dark on top. So the base, not the star or uh, snowflake. Let me put this aside. I prefer to premix my paint with palette knife. A little bit white with blue, not much. More white color, less blue. Even with the light blue, we need to make it lighter. And with any color, if you want to make it lighter, you need to mix with white color. If you want to have darker tone, a little bit black. And prefer little by little add the paint, not to see huge change. I think this blue is okay. Maybe a little more I need because wood absorb more if you compare with canvas. So this is good for my light blue color I need. Put this aside, clean my palette knife with napkin. And we have few white color, we have this light blue color. I need this one, which is the blue I already have. On the top, it's a little darker though. So I need to mix that one. This is light blue. Just a little touch of black. Give me darker tone. Maybe a little more. Make sure black is so strong not to take a lot. Or 
even we already have two different blue we can use this one as well to make it new paint and beautiful because i'm not happy always to premix my paint make it dark with just a black heavy paint always easy to go with because you can cover the surface easily start from somewhere like that back and forth and then at the same time apply with a lots of white color because this part is more brighter the way of brush stroke especially for sky i prefer to do left and right and don't worry because here is covered by lots of trees so feel free to add more paint back and forth with your brush If you work with canvas, much more easier than wood because wood absorb a lot and it's challenging, but that's nice because it's so smooth. If you prefer to have a smooth surface, you can try it. A little bit darker here. I'm doing light blue and white color at the same time. The reason is because sky is smooth and soft. So there is no hard edge in the sky. And when the acrylic paint wet, you can do blending. You can let it move into each other and give you smoother surface. Because of that, I decided to start with the right side, finish that, then move to the left side. So you can choose like that, make your paint really wet. Sometimes the paint is so dry, you can add a little bit drop of water, but not much. So this is okay. I'm happy with the right side. I try to move a little bit to the center and then toward the left side. Left side is more dark. So I'm going to again choose this lighter blue first. To make the base and make sure the center is wet, uh, is wet not dry because I would like to have blending in my sky not really hard edge and then move on with pure paint pure blue light blue I mean because it's darker and let it back and forth with brush stroke make look like cloudy and even you can cover whole your canvas with this color don't worry about the darkness we will bring it later just try to make sure your sky be smooth and it's happened here you see that it's dry the top part it's dry so no worries back to the light blue back to the white color Even you can clean your brush with napkin. I don't recommend in between your paint use the water. Now you can shape a little more your sky. A little bit look like a curvy to be more like a cloud. And a little slow. Okay, so slowly, please bring the dark color on the center. And now still this part is wet and it's better to be wet because I'm going to add a little darker on top. So make it wet even if it's dry, then use this dark color. All supposed to be happen at the same time because we need to have sky very smooth we need to finish and then let it dry
if I finish just one side, give you time and then start another time, another part, the sky is not really smooth and clear. It's hard to create. So I think I'm okay with that. I'm happy with this guy. Even here, it's still hard edge. Clean my brush with the napkin, move on with light blue color to cover it. Now it's getting better. Even white color. Feel free, as much as paint you want, bring on your canvas with this four color your white color to use we don't need any mixing use the white and cover the surface feel free really relax cover it you don't need to be really perfect like a hard line because it's snow it's it's like a heel so bring a little bit on top make it curvy and bring it down even you can use heavy paint Heavy paint always lovely because it shows the texture. And touch here. Especially here covered by lots of beautiful trees. Heavy paint. I think I would like to make this eyes a little bit smaller. So I bring on top of the blue with the white to cover it. And I really use heavy paint. So it takes time to dry. And give me chance to fix and even uh, add the lighter blue here. So for the shadow part, I'm not using dark blue. I'm going with this light blue. Randomly between my white color, just place it like that. The rest, I will bring it later to make it exactly the color I want. Just light blue and white for now it's enough even if you want to add more white color in between you can bring it heavy paint And just white with a little bluey in between. Okay, I clean my brush. Just would like to have a hard edge here because it's more visible for you. I, I do it now with the pure blue color. I disappear that one under the white. Yeah. Okay, still need a little more of this. And for making the new color, I have light blue, I have cobalt, I prefer to mix these two together. Yeah, that's good color for the eyes. So please pre-mix these two blue together. I love to have different value of the colors not just one one blue and add everywhere you see different blue we have just two blue but we can make a lots of different tone with that so clean the brush i'm going to start this fall now this four color. The light blue mixed with the white, I already have it. The pure light blue, the one that I mix with the cobalt blue, which is this one, is in some case I can go with that one too. This is the mixture of two blue with a little bit black. So I'm going to start with this lighter tone first, heavy paint. Apply here. The reason I really use heavy paint because uh, it takes time to get dry first and even it can cover the white of canvas easily second and then 
third reason is you can blend them together. It's not dry fast. So you can blend any color at the same time. So with the light blue color, I start and then a little bit pure light blue. I just go randomly and let them blend together. It's ice and different part of the ice can have different blue. Pure light blue, pure light blue. Even if you finish like me with the mixture, you can directly go with the white. And then pure light blue again. For the center, I go with this cobalt and blue here. A little darker tone. And even on the edge, you can use this one as well. That's nice for the edge of the landscape and the ice part. And then again, back with the light and pure blue. it's easier to make the base first and then the details can come on top and make a crack on top make some shine or even the shadow of the trees I think it's easier to do that that one later so I go with darker uh, darker blue I mean the one that I mix uh, these two blue together So the way that those trees look like is like this way it's like a I think it's their cone tree and it looks like triangle shape the tip is pointy but when it comes down a little bit bigger we can use the same brush that we have if yours is just liney like that flat brush you can go with that or with a smaller brush or with a round brush the reason I, I just go with this one because I can use hold this flat brush for everything. On background, I lay down hold the hair like this back and forth to cover hold the background. If I want to draw the line, I use this liney part. I can go like that. Let me a little bit paint with the tip straight to the canvas. Like here, I choose this part. To draw the line straight then draw the line again straight draw the line and then for shaping the leaves and the branches i i use this both side the pointy part with this both side of the uh brush so i can go with flat brush to do everything the uh, the trees are not all in the same level some a little longer some shorter which is in a real nature, you see like that. And it's not bothering our eyes. So a little longer here, randomly add some straight line, place it here for our trees, up and down. So that's enough. Then we can move on with the side of our brush with this pointy part. I'm not starting from the tip because it's supposed to be a little bit uh, pointy on a tree. I come a little down, add randomly the shape like this and then come down. Even I can use hold the hair of brush to spread the shape on, on the snow. 
As I mentioned, if the brush is big, you can choose a smaller one. So the other one like that, it's supposed to be a little fade. I will do that with the white color later. Randomly happened with the side of brush or with the tip of brush. Like this. I can show you with smaller as well. This is a smaller brush. Choose the paint. Same technique. Start with more details and then randomly bring it to the ground. For this one, it's a little bit movement like that it has from snow go to the tree. It's not a perfect tree like this. Or even the lighter blue, you can add some in between to make it lighter. Just randomly add some brush stroke with this lighter blue on top like that. Uh, at the size, I think it's okay to start from here, then bring it down till here. That's good size for my tree. And then start with this color. The top part is less visible because uh, this part of the sky is already dark. But when we bring the snow on top, it's more uh, visible. So try to be look like this way on the bottom part. And even you can use heavy paint more because it's close to us and you can make a texture on your painting. Okay. 
and make sure to keep some space in between empty to show the sky, to show the snow. And when you come down, make it more bigger. It's better to be white. And I can use even hold the paint, hold the brush to spread on, on the ground like that. It's not like cylinders, look like a long triangle shape. And even under this, we can go with lighter blue a little bit. Even heavy texture, make it lighter tone. And even pure white color, still heavy texture. So after you finish this one, we are going to add the snow on top. It doesn't need to be dry completely, uh, completely to add the snow. We can even start adding right now with the wet surface. So I am going to use a smaller brush and just the pure white color. Use the tip of brush very gently, add randomly some snow on top of each branch. I know some of them blend together, some of them no. Please not add just one line as a snow, like this, touching back, back and forth, like making look like that, because the snow is not really clean and clear. And I'm going to use just the pure black. And if you see a little bit like a snow on top, we are going to use this color this time. So still, I am going to add those with smaller brush and just the pure black. First of all, I go with the tree trunk. I want to choose where it's supposed to be. And uh, feel free anywhere you like. For example, uh, it's better to be here, but it's exactly on the same um it, it plays on top of this one so i don't want to lose that one i like those so i go a little bit closer to the edge and then add this tree trunk here a little longer and the, uh, the second one i go here and then this three small a little pressure together and so short like here there and here they're so small 
make sure to make it so small. And then from top, uh, start to, sorry. Um, okay. From top, start to make it look like a cone tree, like that. You can use the tip of a uh, flat brush, or if it's more easy, you can go with a uh, round brush, round and pointy brush. I prefer to do with this one. And feel free to cover the trees on, on the background. Imagine they are not there. Just make your tree be always lovely. When you come close to the ground, make it like spread all these branches on the ground. So I need this time to add a drop of water beside my palette and any color I want to use a little bit, make it wet like this. It's runny, easier to, to move and give me a chance to uh, work on top of this one. So, and, and after it gets dry, it move to background. If I want to make the reflection of it, this one, I need to make the line. I don't need to make it exactly look like a tree. I just go with the flatness or with the tip, randomly add something like a shadow. Even here, just randomly make it straight like a shadow. Always keep the napkin in your hand. Then you can use the other color, sorry, the lighter tone, the pure one, beside this, and all happen not left and right from top to bottom because we want to show as a reflection or even lighter blue. Straight from top to bottom in between uh, the blacker, blacky color. And in some part, because when you use water in your brush, it makes your paint, after it gets dry, fade to the background and be lighter. So again, you can add more black. The reason I go with the watery brush stroke for the, white, for the black, I don't want to have a sharp black color. Anytime you can make the sharp color, but at the beginning, it's better not to do that. And then a little darker color on the edge, like this. Still, I go with a little water on my black and add this dark color on the edge. So the shadow of these trees 
and we will space in between start from here. And clean the brush, move on with light blue color. Add some brush stroke here. A little bit here. You need to make it look like square movement. Because of that, it shows that it has a crack, it has a uh, ice on it. So not really blending, not really uh, like a curvy, just a straight. Even this way, like a square. And here we go like a square like this. Here like a square. Any brush stroke, even any line with the white color just like that even the shadow we want to sorry the reflection first of all i make it look like just a straight brush stroke like this like this i don't make it look like the uh, trees i just go one stroke from top to bottom like that with less pressure i control my hand pressure even turn your brush to the tip and add some line like this. Then I would like to have a little lighter blue here, like this brush stroke like that, really hard. And even this one again. Trade or even in angle. So I'm going to use just a pure white color now and make some line here on the edge. Make some. This white color work like a wave on top of the sea. When you add a little bit white uh, with a straight line, it shows that this is a water. And now we want to make a crack with this straight line like with the pure white color here, 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 and some pass from this, 
in different angle, even parallel line. Like that. When you use tip of brush, it's so helpful. I don't recommend the round, round and pointy brush. You can do that, or even if it's not move your brush easily, add a drop of water a little bit. That's helpful. Sometimes the paint is so uh, sticky, it's not easy to make the narrow line. So you can go with just a bit water and that's help the brush move easily. As much as line you want, you can add on it to make it look like the real water, uh, sorry, the real um, ice. And then I would like to add some lighter blue randomly here, randomly here. Light blue, I mean the one that you mix with white color. Like that. It more help your eyes be look like a real eyes but make sure not cover everything like a dry brush stroke supposed to be your brush is completely dry gently touch the surface like that i think i'm okay with the line i don't want to make it really busy with the line it's already show that it's it's ice. And it depends if your uh, paint is so sticky, you can go with a little bit drop of water and just a pure white color, tip off brush, pointy brush. If you straight, took it, uh, take it on a brush, on a canvas on top like that. Just very gently add some snowflake close together, heavy snow or less uh, as a little bit one. So I prefer to have really gently to have tiny snowflake. In some part you can add a little more pressure on it with more in some part, very less. Just happen randomly like that spread it everywhere for the one which is bigger and shiny look like uh, look like a star i recommend add a drop of water because we want to help it fade make it look like the big like a plus and still need more water to move it easily like a plus like that and then very less paint more water just make a circle inside that's help it shiny make it shine around like that again i do it again on the other side you can do fade watery brush stroke a circle with watery brush stroke then with heavy paint make a light star with the line like that or if you don't like it just add a snowflake and this snowflake can happen everywhere even on top of the tree on top of the ice it can come like this add more and more in some part make it more heavy or less so just move on add as much as a snowflake you want on top of your painting and this is the last part 